Can you introduce yourself to the audience of the Nexus Institute? Um, you wrote this great book, the first of a series of four on on, on Lincoln. But what are you? Are you a journalist, a, a, a writer, a political man? Well, I think the best way to describe myself is um, the experience that I brought to bear in writing this book. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, grew up in Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm. uh, Illinois is Lincoln State. Uh, it's in the middle of the United States. Mm -hmm. And I have that perspective that I can, uh, that vantage point that I can uh, bring to uh, uh, American uh, uh, society, uh, culture, and politics. I became a journalist and have been a journalist for many years. I worked for such publications as The New Republic, The Washington Post, and The New Yorker. I've written many books about American politics, uh, and um, I served with President Clinton in the White House. I've been active in campaigns and elections as a Democrat, uh, and I'm a historian. Why is it that you got so much involved with American politics? I, uh, at the age of 12, became um, uh, entranced with a uh, presidential political campaign. And that campaign was in 1960. And the candidate was John F. Kennedy. When I grew up in Chicago, there was a political organization. It was a Democratic Party organization. and Every part of the city had what was called a precinct captain, uh, who was a member of the Democratic Party. And that precinct captain recruited me as a boy, I was a, just a boy, to help him after school to get people to vote. And I would go around and speak to my neighbors and say, on election day, and say, you would vote. And the reward was that my precinct captain took me to the rally to see John F. Kennedy. Uh, and that made an enormous impression on me. Shortly after that, I was taken to Springfield, Illinois, which is where Lincoln was from. And Springfield has many of the sites that uh, Lincoln uh, uh, was involved in. The state capitol, his law office, the small little town where he had lived outside of Springfield as a young man. Mm. And shortly after that, um, Martin Luther King came to my city, and I saw Dr. King. And so I saw, uh, even in the, in the North, not in the South, uh, the Civil Rights Movement uh, and its greatest leader. And all of these things combined to impress upon me and awaken in me an interest in uh, American politics, 